I'm, I'm wonderful. So uh, what's what's going on? What are you doing here today? Oh gosh. Well, I'm showcasing my year two book of Diary of a Catering Bar uh -huh. about my experiences as a catering waiter bartender in the High Society Manic World of San Francisco. And uh, lots of stories to be told. It's a web comic, but I collect it yearly and uh, did well at last. They got a couple of copies. So uh, give me the, the, the quick synopsis of one of the craziest catering experiences. Oh, God. Well, do you have to pick one? I don't know. Well, P uh, Bjork, uh, I'm going to serve Bjork and hors d'oeuvre and, you know, kind of <laughs> blowing me off. She probably just eat real food and probably yeah. seaweed or something. Yeah. But, uh, well, haven't we all tried to serve Bjork and hors d'oeuvre? Everyone has. Figuratively. She's a tough customer. Yeah. You know? So you had a blind date scheduled with a with the person that you were it was serving. A potential blind date, and he ended up being yeah uh, one of the designers I had to serve in this designer showcase thing. Hmm. He got very anal about his designing and tips that we were serving around. So. <laughs> <laughs> no. Was, you didn't spill hors d'oeuvres on his antiques, did no, you? No, but my rental staff that were with me were all thumping into things. And uh, I was expecting love notes from him, and he was mostly by picture people away from my stuff. So, <laughs> so what's, uh, what's after, what's next, what's coming up? What's, oh, uh, gosh. Well, you know what? I think uh, this might be the last year for Diary of the Human Force. Really? But I'm going to collect all four years into one volume pretty soon. I'm working on a story that uh, is already written, non-fiction, true story, about me being an Easter Bunny for two days. Hmm. Wacky, surreal experience. So I'm working on that when I get that done this year. Cool. And um, In time for Easter next year. Oh, my yes. <laughs> yeah. So what's, uh, what are you hoping to do when you're away from the table this Comic-Con, or this WonderCon, I should say? Well, what am I hoping to do? Well, it's great for uh, seeing people I don't see a lot. Mm -hmm. here. Uh, a lot of creative people, it's great for networking. Um, since I'm unemployed at the moment, you know, I don't buy anything, so I have no cash in the hand, so I can't buy a t-shirt, I can't anything. So, it's mostly people chatting. People chatting. Parties. Not Hobnobbing. Yeah, little uh, post con parties. Mm -hmm. Doing the see and be seen thing. And, uh, cool. Well, thanks. Thanks for talking. Thanks for talking to me. Bye. Come again. <laughs> hey there. What's going on? Uh, I'm just here in front of the prison booth. It's yeah. Saturday. Uh, okay. uh, Who are you? I'm Diego Gomez. I'm uh, working on Glamazonia right now. Uh huh. And I, uh, I'm a comic book illustrator, letter colorist. Mm -hmm. uh, I do it all. We have some of your work over here, don't we? We do. Follow me. What's your zine about? Um, <laughs> this is a, like a lot of things, but it's always like themed. Uh -huh. the first theme, I, I couldn't really tell you. <laughs> Random things theme? Random things. This year. Oh, I talked to JJ Kirby. He was really cool. Um, I'm volunteering here, and that's cool as well. Mm -hmm. And I, uh, I don't know, maybe the best is yet to come. Okay. Tomorrow's the last day. If you were a uh, if you were a decadent dessert, if what would you? Um, oh, <laughs> I would be redundant. Um, Since you are a decadent dessert, what type of decadent dessert are you? I would be a slice of cheesecake covered in Twinkie, deep fried in uh, chocolate sauce with cherries on top and sprinkles. And nuts. Rainbow sprinkles or chocolate? Every kind of sprinkle you can find. <laughs> Bacon sprinkles. Uh, all kinds of sprinkles. How can people find out more about uh, the amazing stuff that you do? Uh, you can go to designer.blogspot.com or